My faith is enough. My faith is enough. Look at what the scripture says about these people. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. Why? Because they encircled the city for seven what? Days. Seven days. Once around every day. And on the seventh day, they did it seven times. What, how did they, they had faith. What was the faith? That when God gave the instruction, they believed in following it, it would happen. Most of us, when we're challenged to live by faith, the first thing we do is question what we're asked to do. God will always ask you to do something by faith that is absolutely impossible within your own strength. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. It's absolutely impossible. It would be like you walking out and going to Attica and walking around that walled prison and, 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 and people saying, what you doing? God told me to walk around here seven days, once a day, and on the seventh day, seven times. And he going to let me take Attica. You know what they're going to say to you? You're out of your mind. And that's what happens to most of you. The reason why you don't move in the things of God is before you've had the conversation with the people, you say to yourself what you think they'll say. Here's my question. Does it even matter what they say? Then why you keep letting what people say or what you think they're going to say stop you? Remember, the, the, the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years, offered them assuming, thinking something that had not even transpired through conversation. Think about it. They come back to Moses with a report. Joshua and Caleb are the only ones saying we're well able to take it. The rest of them, what do they say? There's giants there. And then they said, and we look like grasshoppers in their sight. Well, who did you talk to? Nobody. Who, who told you this? Nobody. I, I said it to myself. Oh, you, you said it to yourself? That's why you won't possess. What is it that you should have had already that you talked yourself out of? I talked to somebody else. Where is it in life you should be already? That you talked yourself out of. How many people remember when I taught on I am confessions? I am confessions are prophetic in the fact that they declare your future while in your present situation. So when you say I am the head, you can say it when you're in a position of last, knowing that you're getting ready to see the position change in your near future. Because the I am confession is one, uh, when Jesus was saying, I am the resurrection, he was literally the resurrection, but he was also saying that, and you getting ready to see it for real. I want you to tell somebody, say, you getting ready to see who I really am for real. Because I'm not going to a prophetic encounter con conference, I'm going to speak prophetically over my own life. Uh, I'm gonna, y'all ain't gonna help me. What if I told you you were one strong prophetic confession away for seeing a supernatural shift take place in your life? Okay, you don't believe that the I am confessions is one that is prophetic? I want you to think about this. The doctor say you sick, you say I am healed. Now when you're saying that you're healed, he got the x-rays right there. He got the MRI right there. He got the blood test result right there. But you letting them know that when I come back in the future, you're going to see something different than what you've seen today. Look at somebody and say, I'm just one confession away from prophetically altering my destiny. Let the weak say, I am. While you're weak, you're saying it. While everything looking messed up, what you saying? I'm strong. I am strong. Y'all ain't going to help me. I ain't got nobody to help him here. Somebody say, my faith is enough. What, do, what is your real future? And how would it be decided in regards to how it manifests? It's going to be manifested by what you say in faith. 